Hi there, Steve Chittenden here from SAP Australia and New Zealand. Um, and today's topic, we're going to be talking again about networks. But in this time, we're actually going to be talking about what we call the logistics business network. What is the logistics business network? Well, let's have a think about the challenges that are facing logistics companies uh, in the world at the moment. And when I say logistics companies, I don't mean the likes of uh, necessarily logistics providers. I'm talking about any company that sends anything anywhere. So manufacturers, um, consumer goods companies, mining companies, they all have a supply chain. And each of these supply chains currently has multiple entities which interact with that supply chain. They may be freight forwarders. They may be our warehouse operations. Of course, we have customers. We also have suppliers sending us things to them. Uh, and of course, our, our carriers actually doing the work of actually moving things around. And there are also other networks out there. So, of course, within the SAP world, we have the Ariba network, uh, we have the Asset Intelligence Network from SAP, but there are also other networks too, uh, such as our visibility providers that we have out there, such as Shipio, um, Project 44, ClearSteel, so on and so forth. So we have all these disparate, different things out there. And the problem is, of course, trying to connect them all together is a little bit challenging. It's challenging from a number of different perspectives. Everybody's using different systems. Everybody's using different languages. Everybody's using different ways of communicating. So how do we address this and how do we bring this together. Now, if you think about an analogy to this, uh, when we used to travel, of course, before COVID, many, many years ago, some of you may remember that when you went to use your credit card at a store, if you're overseas or in a particular country, in fact, even a particular region, they would often have an alliance to a particular credit card. So when you went to use your credit card, it didn't work. And the reason for that is they had point to point solutions and point to point relationships with the credit card company or the bank that was actually running their, their FBOS machine or their point of sale machine and things like that. Nowadays, of course, that's all gone. Why is that? It's gone because we're now using networks in that uh, domain. So if I go to use my Visa or my MasterCard or whatever it is, they generally work in most locations across those different, those different countries and those different regions simply because we have a network now where they are all connected and can actually interact with each other. A very, very different way of looking at things. And that's exactly the principle behind the logistics business network. Being able to centrally manage transactions and bring everything together to our own organization so we have not only collaboration, but visibility. The logistics business network has multiple use cases or capabilities, but today I'm really going to be concentrating on the principle of track and trace and how do we actually find where things are and what's the impact of those things not being where they're supposed to be. So what this allows us to do, of course, is to, to bring elements on board and actually allow us to get data from all these different elements in a seamless manner in one place. And when I say one place, this is where SAP really comes into its own in this regard, because we manage the system on a cloud. So obviously it's all connected to everybody, but unlike other systems, this is also a service as well. So we manage the onboarding and actually bringing your suppliers, your carriers and other networks and things like that actually onto the network. So we do that work of reaching out to suppliers and helping them get onto the solution because we want more elements to be joined together and providing information onto the platform. So not only is this a software service, it's also a people service, if you will, in that we, are, we have 600 um, employees at the moment. This is August uh, 2021. Um, out there and they talk to the suppliers, they talk to the carriers and everything else, get them on board. And of course, if they have problems, they contact SAP rather than your organization. A little bit like if you have a problem with the telephone you're using on the network, you don't, uh, you don't try and contact the person you're trying to contact, you contact the telco because they're providing the networks to you. So same kind of principle in terms of how that works. Let's, um, <clears throat> let's get into this and take a little bit of a look about uh, what we can actually do here. Obviously, um, we extend that reach out to third party networks as well. And what does this mean? There are many other networks out there at the moment that are currently providing data. We don't want to have to recreate what they do. We want to take that data in and actually reuse that data. Again, think about the idea of a telephone or your, your mobile phone. I don't need to know which particular um, network you're connected to. All I need is a telephone number. Therefore, if I call you, 
you might be connected to Vodafone or um, Sintel or, or uh, Optus or whatever it is. I don't need to know that information. All I need to know is your um, your telephone number and I can call you even if you're connected to a different network. The same principle applies here. The logistics business network is the network of networks. What it can do is obviously allow our customers to reach out not only to our own networks but other third-party networks as well and bring those together and of course we have standard connectivities to bring that data into the system. So let's talk about what does uh, Track and Trace actually do for us. The idea of Track and Trace is to really look at not just where things are but what are those things actually doing and also, how does that impact me from an enterprise level? Quite often, I'm talking to logistics companies and to uh, suppliers and to, to manufacturers and things like this. And their question to me is, Steve, you know, I can order a pizza from Domino's and it gets here and I can track it and I can see exactly what's going on. How come I can't do that with my parts that I need for my maintenance orders? Or how come I can't do that for my raw materials that are coming in for manufacture and things like that? The answer is we can, but it's a very different paradigm when we're dealing with an enterprise level. Yes, it's very true. I can put a GPS tracker on my dog or on my car. And if I want to see where that is right now, all I've got to do is go to a website, click on a link, and then I can see exactly where those items are. And the same is true for my pizza. You know, I know where it is, but that pizza's coming to me. And it's one individual item going to one individual person. Now let's think about this for a moment as a large organization where you have hundreds of thousands of materials or line items of materials being spread across multiple locations or plants or physical locations across the entire enterprise. Now if I wanted to look at that on an individual basis one by one, obviously I would have to click on literally hundreds of links every single day just to see where every single one of those items is. That is not really an enterprise tracking solution. All it is is a way of seeing where things are. So what we want to do here is we really want to be able to see what things do I need to track and how important are they to my enterprise in terms of what's actually going on. The way in which we do that is by using a track and trace logistics business network solution. So what it allows me to do now is to not only see where things are outside of my organization, but also, of course, mix that data across my ERP information so I can blend it together. And then what I can do is perform impact analysis on that data to see what is not happening as it should. Once I know what is not happening, I can then focus on those things to fix them or provide alerts to um, entities that are interested in, in knowing about them. So let's, uh, let's take a look at how that actually works in the system. So obviously we've talked a little about how we bring these things together outside of our organization. And what we want to do is to track that against our ERP data in the system. Now, three of the main use cases for this are around purchase order fulfillment, sales order fulfillment, and of course, intercompany movements. How do we move things around in our organization? We can now track these for each of these different levels, not just from the ERP level, as I mentioned, but all these other guys as well, the shipping companies, the 3PLs, so on and so forth. And that's what the logistics business network allows us to bring together not just to see where things are, but how do they impact all of these different entities and, of course, our own internal stakeholders to see what's actually happening from our own organization. So let's uh, think about this for a second here. Inside these, the cloud solution that we deploy, but again, it's a service that we deploy for you, so you know, we can help you do that. Uh, we have templates that are built there to start you off, to tr track things through the system and get those milestones and bring them into that. We can also bring into in, in here all the geographic uh, geolocation tracking. Uh, we can have emails coming out to send to your customers, so on and so forth. So all of this is included in the solution from the get-go. So what does that actually really mean for us? Now, if you think about what this does, it allows us to see this milestone monitoring and exception uh, 
alerting. And that's really the key to this. What is not happening as it should? And so we can see here from this example, we have some milestones that we have, such as if it's an outbound thing, it might be that we're, we're taking an order, we're picking it, we're dispatching it, it's going through a third party, it's got a shipment or, or, or a truck, it's then going to use this resource to deliver it. What's actually going on with it right now? If I want to, I can see that geographically on the map as well to see what's going on. And those are nice things, both from a track and tra trace or an event point of view, as in the different events that are happening on the left there. Also, the physical stuff, all very good. But again, you know, I can put a tracker on anything and see it these days. But what's really, really important here, and this is where this comes into its own, which no other solution can do, is the one that's right above me here. How do I understand what the impact of these things actually is on an enterprise level. Now, I don't want to have to click on 100,000 different items every day to see where they are. And I want the system to tell me exactly what's going on and tell me what the impact is. So when we look at this now, obviously we've got that all important milestone tracking to see you know, where things are being delayed and what's happening not just internally from my ERP, but of course from carriers and other, other networks as well. And that all important impact analysis, so I can actually see, you know, if something's running late, let's say a shipment for instance, what are all the sales orders, items and deliveries and everything else that are all linked to that, so I can see this at an enterprise level and the system tells me where something's wrong. So yeah, it's a lot more than tracking your pizza coming to your door, because we're tracking millions of pizzas, if you will, across millions of different plants and different locations to tell me which one of those is going to be late. There's no way I could do that individually. It will simply take too much time to do. I need a system to show me that enterprise level impact analysis across everything in my organization to tell me where things are not running as they should. And then, of course, I can alert and tell my customers, for instance, or my, my maintenance guys with the purchase orders running late, maybe not, not to do that piece of work or to hold off on that order so I know what's happening. So that was just a really quick run through of you know what is track and trace in the logistics business network and how is it different from all of those other tracking solutions we have out there that track individual things which are great but the logistics business network global track and trace allows us to take that to the enterprise level where we can actually see what the business impact is on those delays or things not happening as they should. SAP delivers this in a templated way, which we have fixed templates. Well, not fixed is the wrong word. It's the templates you can extend to, to your business process for many different document types. And of course, connected not only into your core SAP ERP solution, but, of, but connecting to those all important external uh, carriers as well. And that's just a brief introduction into logistics business network for track and trace. Thank you for listening.